Dear students, welcome to the classroom. Today we are going to learn the new lesson of Introduction to Computers, Standard 5th, Lesson number 2, the CPU. So watch the video carefully. Dear students, the CPU, Central Processing Unit, controls the entire working of the computer. It is called the brain of the computer. The CPU processes input according to instructions to generate information. The CPU also stores process data which you can retrieve whenever you want. In short, the CPU processes data and stores data, programs and information. Before we learn more about the functions of the CPU in detail, let's understand some new terms. Circuit Dear students, a circuit consists of many electronic parts that are joined together to form a path through which electric current flows. Chip Chip is a piece of material called silicon. It has many electronic circuits attached on it. The CPU is a big chip with many electronic circuits on it. It is placed on a printed circuit board called motherboard. Dear students, when the CPU receives data and instructions from the input devices, it decides what to do, how to do it and which units will do it. And accordingly, it sends messages to those units to perform the task of processing the data. After processing the data, the CPU generates information and displays it through the output devices. Thus, the CPU controls the working of all electronic units of the computer. Let's understand how the CPU actually functions. Components of the CPU Dear students, the CPU itself consists of three components. Number 1. Control unit Number 2. Arithmetic and logic unit Number 3. Memory unit the functions of each of these components of the CPU can be clearly understood from this illustration. Control Unit Dear students, the control unit, as the name suggests, controls and directs all the operations inside the computer. It coordinates the movement of the data and manages processing and storage. The control unit receives data from input devices and transfers it to memory. From memory, the control unit transfers the data to ALU and also gives the necessary commands to ALU to process the data and produce information. The control unit receives the results from ALU and again sends it to memory and then ultimately to output devices. The control unit also controls the storage of data in memory. It stores all the program in memory takes instructions one by one, analyzes them and then give appropriate commands to the other units to perform a particular task. Arithmetic and Logic Unit Dear students, you know that a computer can do calculations and comparisons. But how does it do all that? Well, all the arithmetic and logic operations are done by a special unit of the CPU it is called arithmetic and logic unit. The control unit receives data from input devices and transfers it to memory. From memory, the control unit sends the data to ALU with instructions to perform unnecessary operations. Accordingly, ALU performs the operations and generates results. The control unit receives the results from ALU and stores it in memory till it is finally sent to output devices. Dear students, ALU performs arithmetic operations, for example, 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 and 6 minus 4 is equal to 2, 80 multiplied 2 is equal to 160, etc. Dear students, ALU also performs logic operations. It compares two numbers to find out whether one is less than or greater than the other. For example, 20 is greater than 40 is false and 60 is less than 100 is true, etc. Dear students, ALU also states whether a statement is true or false. For example, 10 plus 20 is equal to 40 is false. 
and 30 into 20 is equal to 600 is true etc now we will see the memory the students memory as the name suggests stores all data programs and informations in it when you enter data into the computer the control unit receives it and sends it to memory from memory the control unit transfers data to alu for processing and generating information the information generated by alu is received by the control unit and again sent to memory for storage ultimately the control unit instructs memory to send the stored information to output devices so my dear students in this video we have learned about the cpu so watch the video carefully to understand the lesson